hey cruisers welcome back to today's live stream today we are going to be talking all about princess cruises we have sailed a ton with princess cruises so it seemed fitting to start our week of cruise line tips and tricks with the cruise line that we know the most so today we have about 15 specific tips and bits of information to share with you about Princess. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the tips right up front, and then we'll go to Q&A a little bit later in the live stream chat. We do have a really cool giveaway today which I'd like to show you right now. This is an international giveaway. And at about 12.20, 12.25, I'll let you all know how to enter in the live chat. Again, this will be an international one today. So no matter where you live in the world, you can enter. We are going to be giving away two lanyards, pink and blue from Princess Cruises. We picked these up on our last voyage with Princess. These are really cool. What you do is you, if you have a room card, if you, if you don't have the medallion yet, and you have a room card, there's a little hole punch in the card, and then you pop the string through the hole and it is actually detachable so you can take this off kind of like that if you need to get your room card off quickly it's very cool so these are really cute we're going to be sending you those tucked beautifully inside this gorgeous band of bow uh, wet swimsuit bag this is the pineapple express swimsuit bag and it's a wonderful little accessory for a cruise so that is going to be our awesome giveaway today if you can keep your questions limited to princess today we're going to put priority on those questions because this is all about princess. So let's get right into the tips. I do have a couple of pieces of paper here that I'm gonna be glancing at here and there. Those of you who are princess cruisers, get in the chat. Talk about the things that we're talking about. Share your tips. Let's make this another powerhouse video for people who are watching the replay all about princess. So our number one tip is something new that we've never had seen before. Mr. Cruise Tips TV actually discovered this online. And that is that princess, did you know, has a pre-cruise checklist online. We have linked to it in the description, but they have a freebie for you. So you can download it. It's really extremely thorough and it's a great way to prep for your cruise. Make sure that you check that out in the description. Our number two tip today is all about easy air. I don't know if many of you have ever booked your air along with your princess cruise but on our most recent experience we went for it we gave it a try so on our cruise from uh, japan to singapore we used easy air and i was blown away you guys at the value so not only do they guarantee i want to read this to you they guarantee that if your flight is delayed or canceled they'll take good care of you but not only that the prices were less or the same as the mass market airlines and it comes with a guarantee and I was able to to choose my seats and change my air around as many times as I wanted to up until a certain point which I believe is about 45 days so they will take good care of you and they'll get you home if for any re reason you miss your your princess transfer or your flight or anything like that it's really wonderful so that is our number two tip today is do not forget to give Easy Air a chance. You can find it right in the personalizer when you are booking your cruise. It is wonderful. I had such a good experience with it. Number three, another Mr. Cruise Tips TV princess secret find is that Chocolate Journeys is more than just the tasty desserts that you get on board. You can actually visit the wine bar for premium chocolate and wine tasting, wine tasting and pairing, which we tried on our last princess cruise, and it was phenomenal. Get this, you guys, this isn't really a secret, but this is a cool thing to know. The Lotus Spa also has chocolate spa treatments. So Princess has taken the chocolate thing to some pretty good levels. So yeah, you can also go and have all the normal confections, the cookies, the sweets, the treats, all of that good stuff. But these are some things you've got to know about Princess. The chocolate is finding its way all around the ship and a boy is it delicious, I'm telling you. All right, number four tip today is that Princess does still offer a good old fashioned ultimate ship tour. So they have a behind the scenes uh, tour that goes to the engine room, the medical center, the galley, the laundry operations, and you can even visit the bridge and you get to meet the captain. There is a charge for this. There's limited capacity. So our tip for you today is if you don't see this in your newsletter when you board, because oftentimes I've noticed on these princess cruises, they don't advertise it until later in the cruise. Go to guest services and just ask them, hey, is there going to be an ultimate ship tour on this cruise? How much is it? How do I get my hands on it? And we recommend that if this is something that interests you, save the money, treat it like an excursion and enjoy it. 
It's usually on a C day, by the way. All right, our next uh, set of tips here is from our wonderful subscriber, Catherine, who has some really good information on Princess. Let's just call her a Princess Insider. Catherine wanted us to share three things with you today that I think are phenomenal. Number one, bottled water is only available for pre-order in your stateroom. Now that doesn't mean you can't buy bottled water on board. What it means is that if you want to have the inexpensive packages of water delivered to your room, you cannot do that once you're on board. You have to pre-order it. Right now, uh, so we're in October 2018, it is $6.90 for 12 bottles of water, and those are 500 milliliter bottles of water. So this is how you do it. I went onto the website this morning to find out how to get this water exactly for you, because quite honestly, I'm gonna do it on my next cruise, and I wanted to tell you exactly how to do it. You go to your booking manager, so go to Manage My Booking, then go to Onboard Reservations, beverage packages, and then buy the bottled water there. You do have to pre-purchase it, but that is the only way to get the water. If not, you're gonna be buying it by the bottle once you get on board. Catherine's second tip for us today is that you don't wanna miss out on the future cruise desk, and this is something we always do. You want to put down a deposit while you are on that cruise for your next Princess cruise if you intend to sail with Princess again within the next two years. You will get substantial onboard credit for your next cruise, a reduced deposit, and this costs you nothing. One of the best loyalty, I'm not in loyalty programs, but future cruise programs at sea, and we never sail with Princess without doing this. Well, I think I forgot to do it on my last cruise, but almost never. <laughs> All right, so that's what you need to know about the future cruise desk. Definitely take us up on that one. Now, another thing Catherine said is that you need to know that the Princess Wi-Fi plans vary from ship to ship. She said that some still some ships still charge by day and some charge by minute, so you need to call the cruise line and check with them to see what type of a plan that you can look forward to on your cruise just to get educated. So know that there's a little bit of flux there. So thank you so much, Catherine, for those wonderful bonus tips. We really appreciate you. Pardon me, guys, there's like fuzz flying around the set here. And we're so grateful that you shared them with us because I think they were super practical for people who are cruising with Princess soon. All right, our number six tip today is that you can still choose your dining style on Princess. So when you go to book, talk to the party that you're cruising with and decide what you wanna do. Do you wanna do tradition, traditional set time dining or do you want to do any time dining? Just like most of the cruise lines are doing this uh, in this kind of day and age, you get to pick at the booking time. So set time dining or traditional dining is going to book up the fastest. So if you are really, really set and determined to have that Traditional dining, which is usually somewhere around 5.45 for the early and maybe around 8 for the late, it varies by ship. You wanna book your cruise early so that that doesn't sell out. If you're okay with any time dining, that is great too. With any time dining, you usually have about a four hour window that you can show up in the dining room. Sometimes though, if you show up during peak hours, you may have to wait. So be aware of that and try not to show up during those really popular dinner hours. If you show up after 8 p.m., you're probably just fine, but sometimes anything before that could land you with a pager. Sometimes not. I've heard people say on their princess cruises that they've never waited a moment. Unfortunately, a few cruises ago when we sailed with my mom, we ended up with a pager most nights in anytime dining, and it wasn't really our favorite. That's just my personal opinion. So you guys can kind of make that decision on your own, of course. Now there's something else that's new and exciting with Princess over the last few years that we want to share with you. This is called Club Class Mini Suites. And the reason I'm bringing it up now while we're talking about dining is because it does sort of tie into your dining experience. So. Club class mini suites are suites in premier locations offering upgraded dining benefits and some additional luxuries. So in order to book a club class mini suite, you book it when you are booking your cruise and you select a club class mini suite when you're booking, okay? So when you choose your cabin type, you choose mini suite, club class mini suite, and then all of this stuff will automatically be included. So let's talk about what is included. I'm actually looking at the Princess website right now. So we know that you have the club class dining, which is expedited seating with no wait, special menu options, and a dedicated wait staff, and some table side preparations, which is really nice. What a treat, right? You get priority embark and debark, 
so you don't have to wait in line. You get to skip the lines getting on and off the ship. You get some complimentary wine. So you get a half bottle of red and a half bottle of white in your stateroom on arrival, which is kind of a nice touch. You get priority specialty dining reservations as well. And you get evening canapes. You get to nibble on some special things delivered to your stateroom. You get upgraded bathrobes. And you get the standard mini suite benefits, which would be a larger room, so larger mini suite room, which we're going to talk about in an episode we're doing next week. You get the princess luxury bed, you get a balcony with patio furniture, table and chairs, a refrigerator, a separate seating area with a coffee table and a sofa bed. You get the standard sliding glass doors that a balcony has. You get a private bathroom that includes a combo tub and shower. The tub is a good reason to book a mini suite if you are a bather or if you like a little extra space. And the other standard things that you get in a stateroom. So if you're considering a club class mini suite, that is what exactly what is offered in that program. It will cost you more, but for some people, they really enjoy the little extra luxuries. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about one of our favorite things about Princess Cruises. And our number seven tip today, it's more like number 10 by now because we've thrown in some extra tips, is to consider booking a mini suite. Mini suites on Princess are so much more spacious than a regular balcony. Sometimes they're a little bit more expensive than a balcony, sometimes they're a lot more expensive. If you find that they're just a little bit more expensive and you want a little more space and a bathtub and an extra sitting area and an extra television with a couch, book that mini suite. Do not look back. They are fantastic. They are one of our absolute favorite stateroom categories across any cruise line. So highly, highly recommend that. All right, next up, another princess favorite is Movies Under the Stars. Movies Under the Stars is what we often, once we're on the cruise ship, everybody calls it mutts, mutts for short. You get to snuggle up on the pool deck with fancy padded loungers. You get, if it's cold, you get blankets. And if the staff is available, they are going to give you popcorn and hot chocolate and sometimes cookies. It's a wonderful treat. There's really nothing more relaxing than snuggling up with your family under a blanket, under the stars, watching a giant, uh, a movie on a giant screen. A lot of times they're really solid first run movies as well. So one of our favorite things about Princess. Another thing you should know about Princess is that they have been voted as having the best pizza at sea by USA Today, and we would agree. We really like the thin crust on the Princess pizza, and it's a must try if you're going on a Princess cruise. Tell us what you think about the pizza in the comments below. Okay, number 10. One of my favorite things about Princess Dining is that there's this extra secret little option called the International Cafe. The International Cafe is an atrium-based little mini restaurant. It's not on all of the ships, but it's on many of them. It doubles as the coffee shop and 24-hour snack area. What a lot of people don't know is that they have a great variety of food. In the morning for breakfast, you can actually get a a uh, breakfast sandwich that's been placed on a panini press, and you can totally avoid the buffet if you'd like. During the lunch hours and daytime hours, they have hot soups. Sometimes they have warm panini sandwiches. They have beautiful salads, and of course, a huge variety of desserts and sweet treats and espresso treats, because usually that's where the coffee bar is as well, and on some ships, that's where the gelato is as well. Generally, the International Cafe food is free, but the gelato and the coffee will cost you extra, if that makes sense. We love the International Cafe. I think it's a great alternative. Very few people take advantage of this, sometimes until the end of the cruise when they realize, hey, wait, this is really good food. This, this is a nice alternative place to eat. So take advantage of that if you're going on Princess soon. Another thing we love about Princess is the convenience of the New Grounds coffee package. Right now, the coffee card or coffee package gets you 15 coffee beverages for about $35.65 per, um, per coffee card, if you will. I find it just to be a nice convenience because when I go to get my coffee in the morning, it's not so much that I'm saving money, it's that I'm not running a transaction on my card. I hand it to them, they stamp it, I take my coffee and I go, and you also get free brewed coffee with it. So say I go and I get my husband an espresso, you can also get free brewed coffee, just a regular, you know, um, I don't, what do you call it, a drip coffee? I guess you call it a drip coffee. So you can get a regular drip coffee at no extra charge. Okay, just a few more tips and then we're gonna go over to the Q&A. We have three more tips. Many of you are familiar already with the sanctuary. 
If you are looking for some tranquility and you're sailing without children, the sanctuary is an adults only retreat up above the pool deck where you can kind of expect spa inspired snacks and drinks and some really good personalized cabana style service up there. They have MP3 players to listen to. You can sometimes book a massage and it's just a really nice laid back vibe. It does sometimes sell out and there is a fee. So if you are interested, you need to check this out as soon as you get on the ship. So our tip for you today is check out the sanctuary as soon as you get on the ship. All right, next up is another classic princess favorite of ours and that is the ultimate balcony dining. You can dine on your balcony for an extra fee on princess for dinner or brunch. It's very romantic, it's very sweet. If you're traveling with a family, you can absolutely also do this with a family. But if you're celebrating something or you just want to hang out on your balcony and enjoy a gourmet meal with exceptional service, we're talking about waiters in your stateroom setting up this fancy meal. It is just to die for and something that we really hope to do on our next Princess Cruise. It's wonderful. And our next tip today, our last tip about Princess is not to miss their steakhouses. Princess has, I believe they, they've got the Sterling and, oh, I'm forgetting the second name of the steakhouse, but they are really wonderful. The service is excellent and they are so much less expensive than you are going to spend on land on a steakhouse. So do not miss the steakhouse on Princess if you are into that type of dining on land because it's an excellent value and they just really do a good job. So that rounds out our tips for today. I hope you've enjoyed those and we're gonna jump into the chat now and answer some questions. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the Princess related questions. Um, Mr. Cruise Tips TV is queued up for me and then I'll jump in the chat. Cindy said, have I ever been on Pacific Princess? No, Cindy, I haven't, but I would love to someday. I've heard it's great. Heather said, can I bring my own wine on board and pay the corkage fee? Yes, you can if you drink it in the privacy of your stateroom though you will not be charged a corkage fee. Jennifer said our princess cruise is good for families traveling with teens or are they more geared towards couples? A lot of people do princess with teens but of the cruise lines I wouldn't say they are the most geared towards teens. Teens could be bored. There may not be a lot of other teens on board if you're on a really long itinerary or an exotic itinerary that is especially true and you should just be aware of that. Um, but as with any cruise, it depends on your teen, it depends on your kids. Nurse Nancy, we have not tried the Club Class Mini Suites yet. It's a little bit out of our price range and we're very happy just sailing in a mini suite without the Club Class, so for us, it's not really necessary. We feel so pampered and spoiled as it is. Okay, um, Stacy wants to know if the sanctuary is worth it. People who like the sanctuary swear by it and will fight scratch, kick, and do anything they can to get a ticket. So they say that it is. For me, it is absolutely not worth it because again, I find Princess's pool area to be so tranquil and calm and beautiful anyway, especially if they have the covered pools and we sail with a child, so it really doesn't apply to us. I personally don't think it's worth it. Brooke wants to know if Star Princess has that ship tour. Do you pay with your room card on the boat or with cash? Brooke, you, it probably does. Star Princess, when we were on it, did. You pay with your room card. Um, dining time, I'd suggest. Personally, I like late fixed dining, Brooke. So hopefully that helps you. Um, let's see, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you move that up a little bit for me? So if you move Brooke's comment out, K, Cute K's comment will go up so I can see it because I can't see. Thank you so much. I'm really short, so I can't see the teleprompter today. Okay, Cute K said, do you keep the robe? No, Cute K, you do not get to keep the robe, but you use it during your stay. Steve Roth says, hi, Steve. He said, what's the largest difference between a premium line like Princess versus a mainstream line like NCL? Is it worth the higher cost? You know what? I don't know necessarily that Princess is even more expensive than NCL right now, Steve, especially if you're booking the perks packages. So with NCL, if you do free at sea, you're paying essentially for those perks anyway. So in my opinion, it's not really, it's not really more expensive. I don't think that, I think in fact that if I were to price like Norwegian Bliss out compared to something going to Alaska on Princess, I don't think it would be. Um, in fact, and I honestly, I would, after sailing on Bliss recently, I would actually classify Norwegian's newer ships as being kind of premium. I really felt like they had taken it up a notch with the specialty dining and the offerings. So here's how I'm gonna answer that question. I think that when you sail with Norwegian, there's more opportunities, Steve, for upcharges. There are fewer places where you're going to be charged for things on Princess. That doesn't mean they're not available to you. It means that you're probably not gonna spend as much 
on that cruise because you're already sort of in a um, slightly more premium dining experience and it's just already sort of included if that makes sense but it really depends on your style of cruising so I hope that that helps you okay um, Kristen says, is Princess your favorite for Mexican Riviera? You know, Kristen, I feel like it just depends on what mood we're in. I think Princess is great for the Mex Mexican Riviera, but there are a few downsides to Princess for the Mexican, Mexican Riviera. I'm blending my words, sorry. One of the downsides for Princess on the MR is that sometimes they have a really short port day in Cabo, whereas I found that other cruise lines don't do that. So where in on Princess, they might just stay from seven to one, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Cabo, Carnival will stay from 8 to 5. And that could actually make my decision for me because I do not like short port days. With that said, I think it really depends on the price, the mood, what kind of a deal you can get on a certain cabin, and what kind of cruising experience you're looking for. So hopefully that, that kind of irons that out for you. Okay, Jill says, sailing on Princess 2019, Cruise Book says Jamaica has many hustlers and is not really safe. Jill, that's an excellent question. We recently visited um, Jamaica and did not have that experience. We felt very safe. We did book a private tour with, what I mean private, when I say private, I mean we booked outside of the cruise line. But we picked a very well-reputed tour that had a ton of good reviews on TripAdvisor, and we felt super duper safe. So I do not believe that you have a reason to be concerned. I think you should be careful what type of tour you book, um, but we felt really super safe. Um, Jessica wants to know where my top is from. Jessica, I got this one at TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. Yeah, I know, it's really comfortable. D, hot shot, book the sanctuary when you board. I don't think you can book it in advance. Um, Cole wants to know if Princess Ships has laundry services. Cole, yes, they have self-serve laundry services and laundry service that you can pay for. It's one of my favorite things about Princess. I do not like to sail on ships as much that don't have irons that I can use myself and I don't, that don't have laundry. It's just our family style. I realize a lot of people don't like to do laundry or iron on a cruise, but I personally like to pack light and do it that way. So for us, yes. Um, yes, Hooch V. Uh, yes, Jody. Hi. The Princess Princess does sail from East Coast ports. Yes, they do Canada and New England, um, at least Canada and New England. And I'm not sure if they're doing any New York to the Caribbean or Bermuda right now, but I know that they at least sail from up there. So yeah, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, that is working so well. Thank you. I love it. Okay, Samantha wants to know which has a better soda package, Princess or Carnival? They're comparable, they're about the same. I, I don't see any major, huge differences between the two, Samantha. All right. Oh, Fabrizio has a princess tip and said elite members get free laundry. That's a nice one, okay. Let's see, Carol wants to know, does Princess honor other cruise lines loyalty status? No, they do not. Carol, they do not do that. One thing that those of us who cruise within the Carnival Corporation family of cruises really hope will happen is that someday the Carnival Corporation will allow us to have Carnival Corp loyalty, meaning that if we sail on any of the Carnival brands, Princess, Holland America, Carnival, all the rest, if we sail on them, that they are all one big happy family, but it's right now they're all individual, okay? I don't know, Stephanie, what the cost of the gelato is right now. I'm sorry about that. I'm just not sure. Okay, let's see here. Um, I see a question about the drink package coming in from Stephanie. If you have a free premium dark package, I think you mean a drink package, as a perk for your room, do you pay extra? You shouldn't be paying extra, no. Okay. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, any other questions coming in? I wanna talk about the giveaway really quickly. Go ahead and go. Okay, great, sounds good. So today's giveaway, as I mentioned, is international. Everyone here has a chance to win. Thank you, Kirsten. Oh my goodness sakes for that. Jeepers, creepers, Kirsten, that's a lot, a, a big super chat. Thank you so much. Um, I wanna talk about the giveaway today. We have two princess lanyards and a beautiful band -bo wet swimsuit bag. This is international. So I'm going to tell all of you how to enter right now. Okay, here we go. Let me just get this laid back down again. Okay, are you ready? This is how you enter. What has been your favorite episode of Vlogtoberfest so far? That's all you have to tell us. What's been your favorite episode? And we're going to close it off at 1228. So we have four minutes and Mr. Cruise Tips TV will select the winner. Okay, 
Let's see here. Julie said, did I miss where Princess ports out of your Michigan somewhere on the East Coast? Julie, yes, they do have, they, they certainly have a ton in Florida for the, um, for the Caribbean area. So you've got Miami, you've got Fort Lauderdale, and then you've got New, New York and Boston for Canada, New England at times. Busy Mama Parano says, does Princess have good kids programs? Kids like the idea they can go somewhere you can't. Yeah, they do. And they've renovated their, oh, sorry. They've renovated their children's um, areas on many ships, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They have this very cool lodge theme that we really love. It's beautiful. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Any other questions coming in, hun? Or are you working on the giveaway? Yeah, you got to focus on that for right now. Let me see if I can find some more questions from earlier. Meanwhile, I'm really enjoying seeing what everyone's... Um, Favorites have been Heather. Yes, the soda package on our last Princess Cruise did include smoothies. You are correct. Um, Connie, do both adults in the room have to get the drink package on Princess? Let me Google that for you. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can figure that out. I'm going to try to answer that for you as fast as I can. Reading the fine print. Bear with me. Let's get the answer live. Why not? Oh, no, I think it's going to try to play a video on my, on my screen here. I'm trying to find the details about that. Does anybody know if both adults have to buy the drink package? I, I sort of think you don't. Um, it is currently $60 a day before taxes, but I'm reading the terms and conditions. Okay, gonna find it for you. Oh my goodness, I don't think that, I don't think that both adults have to buy it. I don't see that it does. Anybody know? I'm going to wait and see if we get an answer from our community here. I know on Carnival you definitely do, and I think on Royal Caribbean you now do. I do believe, though, that they, do, they have limitations. You can only do 15 beverages in a 24-hour period. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that they require that. Good question. All right, we have two more minutes for everyone. Cheryl says, no, both adults do not have to buy the package. I think Cheryl... We're going to trust that answer because you've been on Princess recently and I know that you would know. Excellent information. Amy, Princess High Tea is so fun and I didn't mention it today in our tips episode because I feel like we're constantly talking about how much we love tea time on Princess, but it is so wonderful and fun. It's great for people of all ages. My son loves it. My mom loves it. We love it. I think it's just fantastic. Okay. Seeing a lot of fun things come in here. Um, live your best. I don't know if I'd say princess caters to young solo traveling adults in 20s. I don't know that that would be the best cruise line choice for you. I think I'd rather see you try Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, maybe Carnival. I know that Norwegian solo cabins and solo lounges are wonderful and I think that might be something that you would really enjoy a bit more. Looking for some more questions here. All right, everyone's agreeing with me about high tea. Love it. A lot of you said you like the past and present um, episode. Okay, now is a good time for you to retype your questions if I've missed them because we're gonna log off in just a few moments. <laughs> Seth, you're accepting the 15 drinks in 24 hour challenge. That would, be, that would be fatal for me if I accepted that challenge, I'm afraid, but I love it. Okay. Yeah, you can't share the drinks, guys. You definitely can't. Ah, Bridge Tennis wants to know, what do I think of the Princess Loyalty Program? I can tell you, Bridge Tennis, that I like it very much. Um, we are platinum with Princess. This is the first cruise line where we've ever really obtained any kind of status. I think on Carnival, our next cruise will also be platinum, which is super great. It's wonderful. Really enjoy the perks. I love the priority embarkation and disembarkation you get when you're platinum, and that's not even the highest level. Um, I love the lounge that they, not lounge, what do you call it? They have, um, they have uh, if you've seen our vlogs before on our Princess Cruises, they have a platinum and elite area where you can go before dinner for a few hours and have reduced price drinks and snacks. And it's always in a nice lounge area, usually high up on the ship. If there's a Skywalkers, it's usually in Skywalkers. And the drinks are like five or six bucks, and it's a really good savings. So it's something that we think is wonderful. Okay, looking for some more questions here. Mr. Chris Tips TV. Um, no, Gail, I haven't done land and sea on Alaska, but it's on our dream list. Jessica, Princess Mexican Riviera tips. A lot of these tips are going to apply to you today. I would definitely, what would be the best thing I could say for you about Mexican Riviera on Princess? 
I think you pro I think you probably would enjoy booking a balcony. I like a starboard or right-hand side balcony on Mexican Riviera cruises because going back up, you can see um, you can see the um, lands end area of Cabo and it's just really, really pretty. If you don't book a balcony cabin, get out on deck on an open deck for the sail away into both Puerto Vallarta and, and um, Cabo. I don't mean sail away, I mean the sail in. So in the morning when you approach Cabo and you approach Vallarta, it's very mystical. Um, going past Land's End in Cabo is dreamy and very dramatic because you've got the arch, you've got the beautiful contrast of the desert-like look with the rough seas on the Pacific side and it's just really something gorgeous and it's almost always sunny and clear. It's just so pretty. Okay, um, no hooch, Princess does not match their tier with other lines. Thank you so much for the super chats. Brooke and Stephanie, you are so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, we don't get too many perks, Brooke, you'd be surprised. Cruising for free when you're in media or you're a travel influencer is not as common as people think. Um, it's really not, <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, but it's just not that common. We do really truly pay for most of our travel. We have had a lot of generous partnerships with, um, with tour operators, for example, in Alaska. And as you know, our, we were guests of MSC Cruises, but this is not common. It's not something that happens all the time, but a great question. Okay, I haven't been able, Erin, to use the medallion yet, but I hope to soon. Julie, how is food compared to Carnival? Is such a hard question, Julie McCowan, because the truth is it is so truly, um, it's just very subjective. I personally like Carnival food a lot. I think Princess is a step higher personally not always though i've had carnival cruises that were some of the best some of the best food i've ever had but i think overall princess is a little bit better a little bit better okay um stephanie the release dates for the medallions are a bit of a mystery caribbean princess is full using the medallion but it is just hard to get information right now so we're struggling to get that information as much as you are but we'll try to keep try to keep telling you a little bit more as we get the information okay great Gwendolyn Mike's Caribbean Princess tips. I have a ton of them. It depends on where you're sailing. I'd really like you to go watch our Caribbean Princess vlogs. We had so much fun on that ship. Um, I do believe that they offer a photo package on Caribbean Princess that was a really good value and that we enjoyed on that ship. It depends on where you're cruising. So go watch our vlogs and send me a message on Facebook if you want to chat more directly. Okay, um, Amy wants to know, what is your signature drink on Princess? Amy, my signature drink on Princess is the Sam's Sidekick. It is a grapefruit and gin martini with a splash of lime and a splash of blackberry brandy that has now become my favorite drink and I even make it at home. It's lovely, so good. Okay, yeah, the food is just so very subjective, guys. Bayou Cafe, is it worth the small extra cost, says Stephanie. I've never tried Bayou Cafe, but I have tried their other specialties and I think some of them are. Okay, thank you, Say Hey, so much for reminding everyone to, to give us a thumbs up today. Please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, that's even more important. Mont, Monte McDermott Super Chat is a way that people can donate to our channel. It is not something that we have um, initiated. It is a YouTube program where in a live stream a button appears called Super Chat that people can donate money. It highlights people's questions in extremely bold letters so that we can see them better so we generally are able to answer those questions faster. It is never ever ever expected. It is always appreciated but never expected. Okay, um, Jamie, yes, Carnival does sometimes have tea in their main dining rooms. It's usually around three o'clock in the afternoon. Check your newsletter and they will tell you. Good question. Um, has anybody, Kathy wants to know if anybody's been to the Crab Shack. For some reason, Kathy, I didn't try the Crab Shack. I tried planks, but I didn't do the Crab Shack and I love crab. How did that happen? But I've heard that it's really good. Yes, confused Brian, the Crown Grill is worth it and you just reminded me of the other name of the steakhouse on Princess. So it's the Sterling Steakhouse and the Crown Grill. They're definitely worth it. Do it. Okay, um, love, joy, gratitude. Yes, we have found the food across different princess ships to be somewhat equal in quality, but there is definitely variation. You know, any on any cruise line, you you get good and bad weeks for the kitchen, and I we've had pretty good, consistent quality. 
Yeah. Princess Loose is kid friendly like Carnival for sure. Do kids love it as much? I can't say that that's necessarily true. My son loves Princess, but he likes ships with water slides better. Let's just put it that way. Okay, yeah, Rebecca Sabatini's is good. It's not my favorite. I don't really love it. I don't know what it is, but I'd prefer the steakhouses. Okay, we've got some folks saying that the Crab Shack was awesome. Jessica Ash, my favorite foods in the main dining room on Princess. They do an incredible job with their seafood. I always love their fish dishes. Um, their fettuccine Alfredo is really exceptionally good and it is available to you in an appetizer size. I also love their, they have this artichoke souffle appetizer that is to die for. Um, I believe that Tony and Jenny on La Lita Loca just showed a picture of this in one of their food slideshows recently. It is to die for. Best appetizer I've ever had on a cruise. I also really like their shrimp cocktail appetizer, which is always available. Aw, thank you, Sunny Smiles. And that is the cutest name ever. I love it. She says, she or he. I don't know if you're a she or a he. Hey, y'all from Georgia. Love you guys. Thanks for sharing your experiences. Thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it, Sunny Smiles. Okay. I know, <laughs> Rebecca, who doesn't like water slides? That's so great. Oh, Blue Star said they call it steamers and not the Crab Shack. Good memory. Good memory. I'm very impressed. Okay. All right, we're wrapping up today. I really appreciate all of you. So my goodness sakes, Mr. Crow Sips TV, what is tomorrow? It's tomorrow Monday. <laughs> Tomorrow's Monday. So you know what happens during Vlogtober. You guys, I lose all concept of time and space and what's going on. But tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific time, I believe is our Carnival Tips and Tricks episode. Does that sound right to you, honey? Mm -hmm. All right, so 6 o'clock, come back and join us. Brooke, thank you so much. You do not have to do two Super Chats in one day, Brooke. Oh, my goodness. And Jessica, thank you so much. Jessica, yes, I will put a link in. And I get, guess what we forgot to do? We forgot to select our winner for the giveaway. But yes, I'll get you a link to this, Jessica. In fact, Jessica, can you send me an email, please, at sherry at cruisetipstv.com? And I'll get you a link, but I'll also put it in the description. But you're going to help me remember to do that. Okay, Mr. Chris Tips TV, have you selected a winner? That would have been super terrible if I would have forgotten to select our winner. Okay, he does have one. And our winner today is Kim Denny. Yay, congratulations, Kim. Kim, if you could please email me at sherry, S-H-E-R-I, at cruisetipstv.com with your address. Please do not, I always say this, but please do not leave your address here in the chat. That is your private information. Email me your address and I will get this sent right out to you. Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much for reminding me, you guys. I'm so sorry about that. That's terrible. Let's go ahead and answer one or two more questions that we have coming in here because we have time. I was going to sign out, but I see that we have more questions, so I don't want to sign out yet. Brandy said, I've only cruised on Carnival. Would Princess be a good next cruise to try? Yes, yes, it would be excellent for you. I think you should try it. Laura says, Princess or Holland America for an Alaska cruise tour. Ooh, I think we need to ask Scott from Scott Singer Cruises what his answer would be on that. I think either one of them would be fantastic. I would do either. I might try Holland America. Um, because I've never done it before. So if I were to do it, I think I might try Hall in America, but Princess is also wonderful for that as well. Okay, let's see what else we have. I lost my, my chat bar. Let me get that back. Oh my goodness, Jim, thank you so much for the super chat. We really appreciate you as well. And thank you for joining us for all of this madness. We're having so much fun. It's, it's crazy. Vlogtoberfest is always crazy, but we do love it. And we're all going to have we're all just going to have a ton of fun this whole month, and I'm sure that it, it will kind of take on a life of its own. It sort of all does, already has. It's just it's crazy. All right. Yes, confused Brian. The lost and found on princess ships would be the front desk. Okay. Brooke said I need to get out of here and go get my endless shrimp. Okay, Brooke, I'm going to take you up on that. We're going to go to Red Lobster now because I'm starving. <laughs> You guys are so funny. If I've missed your question today, you can come back tomorrow or you can private message me on Facebook. You can also leave your question after the saves to replay and I'll try to get to it, but I'm better about replying to Facebook messages. I feel like a broken record. You guys are hearing this over and over. Thank you all so very much for joining us again today. Thank you for all the thumbs ups. Thank you for subscribing. And until tomorrow, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey. Click me to subscribe.